got out here at uh, sunset for evening night water to water my plants. Well, actually, I'm not really watering my plants today. We're just kind of wetting them down. Because what we're going to do today is that we're going to release some beneficial insects. So I love releasing and using beneficial insects to basically eat the bad bugs. Because when you got too much bad bugs, the bad bugs suck the juice or the life out of your plants. So first what we have to do is we have to water this down because what we're going to do today is we're going to release ladybugs. So by watering down the uh, plants and once again release your ladybugs at night, they have the highest probability of actually hanging out and not flying away. Once again, ladybugs are wild animals or wild creatures. And even though you release them, it doesn't mean they're going to stay in your garden. So a few things you could do, like, you know, release them at night or when it turns light or when the sun's down, or actually I'd probably wait a little bit and release them in a little bit when it gets even darker, but then I could make the video. Uh, number two, you want to uh, water your plants down, you know, get it nice and moist for them. You know, that's going to be really important. And the final thing, and the most important thing before you release any beneficials or beneficial insects in your garden is that make sure they're going to have food. <laughs> because if you're like, oh, let's release some beneficials. I don't know if I need them or not. If you release them and there's no food for them, guess what? They're going to split because they're going to go somewhere else where there is food. You know, I mean, I'd love to hang out at my house because I have all this food to eat. But my neighbor, he has a lawn. I'm not going to want to hang out at his place. So let me show you what I mean by some food. These are some actually uh, flowering um, Brussels sprout tops. And, uh, you know, it makes the Brussels sprout flowers, which are quite edible. And the top, these are the unopened buds. They look just like broccoli, and you could eat them just like broccoli. But if you do a close-up here on this, so here's all these little gray things. I don't know if you can see that. Here's the flowers. Here's the unopened buds. And all these little gray dots. And if you look closely, those little gray dots are moving. And those little gray dots are the aphids. And aphids are not good bugs. So the easiest way to deal with this problem is basically just snap this whole top off. I got it now. Now we're going to take and dispose of this. So now we're just going to get this off property. What I'm going to do is put it in my green bin, which basically goes to the central composting facility to get these off my property because I don't want these aphids on my property because what happens is these guys are sucking juice, sucking the life out of your plants, taking the life force out of your plants, and multiplying so if I come back tomorrow you know they affected this much of the stem they'll be down to like here and go down even further and they're on all these different stems well you know you could pick them all off and once again I always recommend manual control is your first line of defense you know yes it takes some time you got to use your eyes be perceptive hey, it keeps your brain active that's good stuff but uh, pick them all off and get them out of here step number one then you probably won't get them all because they're a little you know they hide that's why we're going to release the ladybugs, you know, definitely another good step. Another good step could be just blast them off with water. But today we're going to release the ladybugs, so let me go inside and get them out of where I've been having them for safekeeping. So we're here in my kitchen. Here's my nice fridge here. We're going to open this up and check out what's inside. Well, besides all my food, we got the ladybugs hanging out inside. Now, why am I storing my ladybugs inside the fridge? You know, basically that simulates winter time, and in the winter time they're dormant. And they're like in slow motion, slow animation, so they're just kind of hanging out, waiting for springtime, so that they be can become alive. Now once you do get your ladybugs, you know, you don't want to keep them in your fridge too long. They do ship with some food, but you know what, if you keep them in there too long, they might not make it. So uh, let's head outside and release the ladybugs. Okay, so now we're outside, getting darker out. And we're going to take off the cover. Whoa, watch out! <laughs> Just kidding. So you can take them off and you can see them all climbing around in there. They're in a state of like slow motion or, you know, a suspended animation because they're just not really moving that fast because it's been too cold. And you know, the good thing is that ladybugs don't fly at night. So that's another reason why you want to release these at night and water the area. And they're actually trying to crawl out of the container here. So I'm just going to simply take the container. And you know, with the bedding and everything, I'm just shaking them around the infected area and the other gonna drop to the ground but you know what they like to climb at night so they'll actually climb up on top of the plants and find all the aphids and they'll say oh this is a good place to live you know we're gonna hang out here and lay our eggs and then well they'll have more ladybugs later and so sure enough I mean I did a nice big ladybug release last year and I still have ladybugs 
you know, that before I even released any this year. So ladybugs can eat up to 50 aphids a day. That's a lot of aphids. They could probably clear cut one of these tops and just eat them all. And when the ladybugs actually hatch the eggs, they're really a trip. They look like little small alligators. They're kind of red. So if you see those, don't be alarmed. They also lay these little egg sacs that are funny hanging things. And I do have a video of like a, la a baby ladybug. If you look back at my old videos, I was so amazed the first time I ever saw one. I've seen already some in my garden this year. It's, they're, they're super amazing. But I love ladybugs. And once again, ladybugs are a beneficial insect you can release in your garden to control some of your pests. Oh, and don't fall for it. Like, if you see the ladybugs, it says, stay home ladybugs. Like, they're supposed to stay home, stay in your property. Don't believe it, because you know what? They're going to go wherever there's food. And once again, the main things to remember, number one, water your area down, release them at, light, at night, and make sure they have food in the area so that they'll hang out and feed on your bad bugs. All right, so let's check out some ladybugs. Get it on! <laughs> so I did a ladybug release as you saw and uh, you know here's some ladybugs I don't know if you could see that right there like one is right on top of the other and they're mating oh man look so there's one there and there's also one underneath here I don't know if you could see that underneath there and here we go look there's even more there's a ladybug orgy going on right here right there there's more right there and even right there and right there. So I released one whole container of ladybugs and they're all mating right now. And I think they know this is a good place to mate because just right above where they're mating and then they'll soon be laying some uh, eggs is their food source. Look at all these aphids in my flowering dinosaur kale. So I love to release ladybugs so that they will mate lay eggs and then i'll have a continual ladybugs you know in my garden to prevent aphids and other insects because baby ladybugs are voracious aphid eaters so hopefully you've enjoyed learning about ladybugs today once again this is john kohler with growingyourgreens.com we'll see you next time and use some biological controls to control pests in your garden